What's up guys, Baker here. Today I got a tutorial. I'm calling this Crystal Text with Element 3D. Um, so yeah, basically it's like this little crystal looking text and uh, kind of looks like this. And um, yeah, I thought it was pretty nifty. You can probably apply this to a couple different things, but I just want to show you some cool tips and tricks and techniques and stuff to make it look like some nice crystal stuff. Alright, so let's get this started. I'm going to delete this, and what it, that's the shadow, I'll keep that for now, and delete all of this. Alright, so you're going to have a cinematic, don't mind that it's already pre-composed. Um, go ahead and camera track it using uh, Buju or the built-in tracker or whatever you want. So, yeah, got a little shadow here, but that's optional. Alright, so let's go ahead and make our stuff. I'm going to make a text layer, and just type in some stuff like... Uh, Baker or something, you know, crystal text, whatever, some text, okay, let's make a new solid, any color, okay, go ahead and search up Element 3D, this is a video copilot plugin, alright, um, let's, uh, let's go to custom layers, custom text, and select our text, Baker, and I'm also gonna want to make the environment match our scene, so, I need to duplicate our cinematic, boom, and let's uh, go ahead and uh, pre-compose. Pre-compose, and we'll call this in by environment. What environment? All right, there we go. Let's do this. All right, so let's go inside, and it should just be our clip again. Let's uh, freeze frame it at a nice spot, probably right here. Get some nice blues and. Uh, oranges with the ground and time freeze frame all right let's go back to our crystal text composition and we got an environment layer let's turn this off let's go to our elements let's rename this element and go to custom texture maps and use the environment layer all right cool let's go to scene setup and let's get started with some cool stuff Alright, so let's click on extrude and I got my text. And we will click on the bevel uh, material. And I will change the bevel curve to zero to get it more chiseled on the uh, edges. So that's nice. And um, it's a little too thick, so I'm going to change the extrude down a little bit to 0.75. So that depends on your font and all that stuff. Alright. Let's go to uh, bevel backsides. If you look at the back, it's just normal. So bevel backside, okay, looks good. And we'll go down diffuse color, set it to black. Very nice reflection, 100%. Now this just looks like normal, you know, silver. So what I'm gonna do is change the Fresnel to one, so it only reflects mostly on the edges, and then refraction will be 100% and then for now the other way so we get it's only in the front and not the edges so got refraction in the front reflection on the sides let's fix our environment real quick so we can see what we're working with alright so that looks pretty cool now this still kinda looks you know not see-through and just kinda boring so if we scroll all the way down we got force opacity which basically makes the uh, layers and stuff see through. So if you kind of look at this K right here, you can see part of this A through it and it can go this way and you can kind of see through it. So I'm going to change this to maybe 75 and then you also, very important, need to click draw back faces. So now we get the back edges. Now it really looks see through and kind of glass crystal kind of look and uh, looks pretty pretty sexy I think. Alright, so one more thing I want to go back up. The uh, bevel is a little bit too small. It doesn't look very uh, crystally, I think. So let's go to the bevel size, increase this a little bit, and then expand the edges back in because the letters are a little too high. So uh, maybe like that, maybe not so big. So just play with these values. So let me just kind of mess around here. So a more big chiseled look. Up to you. Anyways, let's just click OK. 
And um, where is my element layer? I think it's going to be like way up here. Yeah. So I'm just going to move this back towards um, the ground where I needed it. So let's push this. Oops. Alright, so I'm back. I finally got the text uh, pretty close to the right position. And it uh, looks like this. It's kind of okay, but not really uh, pretty uh, awesome. So, what we're going to do is uh, scale up our text a little bit bigger. So, particle look a little bigger. Alright, so let's get the cool colors and stuff. So, the environment, uh, back to this pre-composed environment, let's add some magic bullet looks. Go ahead and drag that on open it up and go to post and chromatic aberration and just you know crank this up to maybe five and negative five so it's a nice cool 3d looking colors and just like that if I go back we'll get some cool colors on the edges which you can kinda see here now it's not very bright so let's uh, add some levels to the element layer bring the input white down to contrast this and make it really bright and shiny and uh, starting to starting to get there looks pretty cool um, another thing I want to do is make an adjustment layer put this underneath the element and set this to alpha mat and what this will do is if I put like curves or something on the adjustment layer I can boost this up and this only color cracks right behind the text so I can add uh, another looks to it and uh, again do the chromatic aberration behind the text so maybe five negative five again boom so a little bit of uh, distortion here if you have it FL glow is another cool uh, rainbow kinda thing we'll set this uh, oops nope set it to screen but set this to this guy and then increase the radius a little bit and we'll do selection turn it on selection layer none lightness bring up the lightness a little bit so alright so we get some cool uh, distortion glow and stuff and um, it's a little too bright so I'll bring this down a little bit so basically what this adjustment layer will do um, we can turn our element back on we're basically color correcting behind the element text so I can make this darker you can kinda see a little subtle difference or brighter so cool way to uh, color correct like that alright I forgot to mention one more tip so I'm just gonna splice this in here real quick um, so you still have your text stuff just go ahead and duplicate your element layer uh, let's take off levels real quick go to output and change polygon mode to wireframe and then you get cool little lines so let's zoom in here but uh, still not very shiny, so just set this tr uh, transfer mode to screen. Get some cool lines, make it more 3D. And if you want to go real crazy, set it to add. Boom, look at that. And um, yeah, so wireframe on top makes it even more crystally shiny. And uh, yeah, that is it. Okay, back to the original video. That is pretty much it's for this crystal text. I know it doesn't look perfect, but I like the cool colors with the uh, environment and then the uh, bevel and the drawback faces and everything. Make sure you have all that. And the force opacity is really what sells it to make it see through without the force opacity. Remember, it just looks like like silver. So, force opacity. Boom. Anyways, that's about it. Um, be sure to like the video if you have any uh, questions feel free to leave a comment hit me up on Facebook or Twitter um, you can probably let me let me try this out real quick um, let's go to primitives and uh, blob let's click on this blob guy and let's uh, copy this material and put it on whoa you know what this looks like this looks like a soap bubble that is pretty cool that's what I was gonna try earlier let me uh, turn this off wrong one. Boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, soap bubble. And it's actually kind of see-through. That's pretty cool. So, maybe you guys can apply this and make your own cool stuff, kind of like this little 
so bubble thing, but yeah, it's supposed to be crystal text, but whatever. Have fun. If you make something, leave a video response, and yeah, that is it. All right, like and favorite, and all that good stuff. Okay, peace.